Hey buddy, how you doing? AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. Here we have an a, uh, AL1500 Ameritron. I had to put a new band switch in this thing. The guy bought it a couple years ago from an out-of-state ham. Uh, the guy he got it from did a lot of wacky mods. Got this rotary switch in there that was configured differently than all the other ones I've ever seen. I'm thinking it's uh, an aftermarket one but I'm not 100% sure. They've changed things so often throughout the years. I'm pretty sure it's different because the common was in a different spot on the front rotary. So, changed that out, front panel to come off to access it, real pain. Um, so, plate tune cap, the original one was damaged, as you can see. So I changed that out. One of the padding caps for the plate side for 160 was damaged. As you can see right here, so I changed that out. Had all these um, old school patterns in here all over the place and the floor and up here. So I took those out, put the doorknob style in, the ceramic style. Reconnected everything. Soldered all the wiring. So that's good. Uh, he had a plate blocker assembly with these caps, wrong value, two 1,000 puffs in parallel. So I took this out I made a new assembly with silver plated copper strap. Copper, um, uh, or brass I should say, I think it's brass. Um, maybe it's plated anyway. Uh, new anode clip. Maritron usually uses a, a screw that's loose so I soldered it all together, soldered the strap to the clip and this is Teflon wire, silver plated, stranded center conductor going through a ring terminal. It's crimped and soldered, all soldered together. Um, proper values to 500 puffs parallel. I put a 50 ohm cantal resistor in there for a series glitch. That'll never fail. The winding started coming undone a little bit on the top, so I put a little bit of G Type 2 silicone on it. New wire for the be positive between the resistor and the base of the choke, plate choke, and I just used the existing Teflon wire with the Teflon sleeve over it for that side. Someone had wired this. The uh, guy, the person who owns this said the person he got it from wired the transformer for the 220 winding. So I put it back to the 240 winding. It was probably looking for more voltage on the plate. It's not worth it. Don't do it. Someone added an, an additional two caps. They changed the other caps. They you reused the old board. Um, they just soldered to the connection points where the screws went through before. Um, so I put the proper meter protection diode in there. And um, I soldered these connections right here. That one and that one because I've seen situations where they loosen up. This is an older one with a genuine Peter Dahl transformer in it, and it has an iMac tube, so. Now this thing's good to go. Um, full output on all bands. Um, I don't, I know they'll do more than the rating, but it's not worth it to push it. You don't gain enough. You know, if you were to double your output, you gain 3 dB. So if you increase your output by 500 watts or so, it's just not worth it. Don't do it. Unless you like spending money. Um for repairs. So um, these uh, re clips for the resistor have um, the retaining spring things, the retaining clip thingies. So that resistor will never come out. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. Oh, that was our, our also changed the soft start that they use. Someone changed the relay and the resistor looks like they did a good job so everything works so thanks for watching have a great day take care